Welcome to Waters World. I'm Jesse Waters. The jig is up for Joe Biden. His credibility is shot. The president's approval rating hitting a new low of 43 percent as his failures keep piling up. In Afghanistan, Joe left Americans behind. He's covering this up, this whole hostage crisis, still taking orders from the Taliban. The commander in chief launching a hideous drone strike that hit the wrong target, killing kids instead of ISIS. Murders up everywhere. Biden's crime plan failed. Inflation's wiping out our wage gains. The recovery's weak and Biden hasn't crushed COVID. He promised to unite us, but his mandates are dividing us. France pulled their ambassador, Russia hacked us to pieces, and OPEC told Joe to take a hike when he asked him to pump more oil. And now even Biden's beloved mainstream media is admitting there's a problem. It has been a tough week for President Biden. He's got a, a, a pretty big uh, credibility crisis on his hands because all of these problems in some ways showed up after he said something basically the exact opposite. And what he has done so far yeah. hasn't really worked. But that's not all. The crisis at the border, worse than ever before, and Biden's blaming a broken system. Yeah, he broke it. No wall, no remain in Mexico, just let everybody in. The Del Rio Bridge in Texas filled with thousands of illegal Haitians all week. Third world conditions, garbage, sleeping in dirt in 100 degree weather, suffering babies, it's awful. Biden let thousands of Haitian migrants into America and flew some back to Haiti, a few migrants biting ICE officers on their flight home. Liberals in the media pushing a fake claim that Border Patrol agents there were whipping Haitian migrants in Del Rio after these photos were released. The story was debunked within hours. These were the horse's reins. It's clear in the video and the photo. But the horse whip hoax was pushed by Mad Maxine Waters, no relation, who said this was worse than slavery. What the hell are we doing here? What we witness takes us back hundreds of years. What we witnessed was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys with their reins again, whipping black people. Al Sharpton got in on the race hustle, flew down to Texas and screamed about slavery. But patriots in Texas were having none of Sharpton's race baiting lies. Nobody wants to hear your racist nonsense in Del Rio. You're a, you're a racist. Nobody wants world. you in Texas. Nobody wants you in Texas. Right Why are you not a voice for the children that have gone missing at the border? Even the photographer who took the photo said it was all a lie. Paul Ratchy saying, I've never seen them whip anybody with a thing. He was swinging it. That's something that can be easily misconstrued when you're looking at the picture. And that's the point. The left wants to mislead with a fake crisis to distract from the real crisis they created down there. So the Biden team puts the agents on desk duty, banned the use of horses in Del Rio, and launched an investigation into this stupid hoax. A former Border Patrol horse coordinator says it's going to be hard for them to do their job now. The horse is a great tool uh, we've used for almost 100 years now. And, uh, and uh, with that gone, it's going to be harder to patrol that area. When people uh, look at what they're doing and interpret it another way, it's, 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 it can be frustrating. Uh, no, we, we, don't, we don't have whips. We don't carry whips. And uh, they, they weren't whipping them. It was just a form of uh, a pressure and release. The horses uh, were a little reluctant to uh, do the job that the uh, agents were asking. And, um, you know, it's uh, twirling the uh, reins. Uh, was uh, just another tool they used to, to get the horses to do what they're asking. Joe Biden pretended to take responsibility for the whole border mess, but then passed the buck and pushed the hoax. Watch. Do you take responsibility for the chaos that's unfolding? Of course I take responsibility. I'm president, but it was horrible what to see, as you saw. To see people treat it like they did, horses barely running them over, people being strapped, it's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. President Biden's a disgrace. He's either lying or his handlers don't show him the facts. He triggered this surge of illegals, then attacks the Border Patrol for trying to control it. This is straight up anti-American. President's words and actions are despicable, 
and he should be ashamed of himself. Meanwhile, his buddy Chuck Schumer says we need to keep the borders open because we need cheap labor. We're short of workers from one end of America to the other. One of the reasons the Trump administration dramatically cut back on immigrants in this country. We need them. We need them in our labor force. Biden created a labor shortage by handing out free money and slapping mandates on us, then invites cheap illegal labor to fill the gap. This is just what Democrat donors want and just what the Democrats want too, because it turns Texas blue. So just like Afghanistan, Joe Biden was warned about the crisis at the border and did nothing. Border Patrol Union emails from June reveal agents predicted this surge and were begging for more help. But Joe Biden ignored it. Biden doesn't want anything to do with this. He hasn't been to the border, not now, or maybe ever, it turns out. Fox's Peter Ducey pressing Jen Psaki about it. Has President Biden ever been to the southern border? I will have to get look back in my history books and check the we, times he's been to the southern we border. We have been looking all morning and we cannot find any record of him visiting the border. I can check and see when the last time or when he may have been. This, but, this, but tell me more about why you're asking. Because this is a president who makes a point when there are disasters in this country like a wildfire or a hurricane to go and see for himself firsthand what the needs are of the local community so that he can have an informed POV to make policy. Joe's not fighting for us. He's swamped by problems he created and lies and hides when the pressure's on. This is a failed presidency and there's no telling what Biden will do or say to save it.